Are we hitting the next one, man? Go Let's ahead. Go. Number two. Yo, can we get some? Can, get, can we get back to the Spanish <laughs> shit? You know what I'm saying? Deuces. That is not Spanish. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Because I said, <laughs> just like a goddamn, no. just like a goddamn <laughs> woman, just, just like a goddamn black woman. Follow no directions. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be in the comments. Y'all just hate, y'all just love it. <laughs> hate on us black I mean, women. You know what? They do it to me every week, y'all. Come on, y'all see what they be doing to hate. me. Y'all black, uh, y'all just love to hate yeah. on the black women. They oh always hating on me. Y'all All probably got time. white girlfriends. Y'all yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. Simps. We probably do. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get fried in the comments, y'all. Yes. We get motherfucking for a lowly small channel like us. We get fried in fried. the comments from across the country. <laughs> <laughs> we get stir fried in them comments, boy. God damn! But you know what? Though? We love it. Appreciate it. Yeah, you know I mean, if you don't hate, we don't appreciate. All right, hey. man. It's going to be number two, man. So what we have now, video number two is from content creator. That's persuasion. Now she says, "Getting money from men is not hard. You just need to get to the point." Okay. Here we go. T. Hmm. Getting money from the white man hard. I don't get no money from no man. God damn it! You need to stop giving it out for free. This <laughs> 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 jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> I asked men for money real quick after meeting them. One thing about it, you're not finna play in my face. I got too much stuff to do to let a man play in my face. So I went on a date with this man on Saturday and it's now Wednesday. He tried to go on a date with me. I'm like, oh, I've been busy. I've been running errands all day. I'm tired. I just really don't want to do anything. And I was like, and plus, I don't have gas in my car. Literally, I'm on the phone with the man. The man instantly Apple pays me $100 right then and there for the gas. He was like, oh, no, no, no. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. I got you. Like, listen, y'all be scared to ask these men for money. But baby, I'm a step every single time. You don't even have to ask a real man for money. All you have to do is throw a problem out there. And if he's a real man... And and if he got money, if he's a problem solver, if he's a provider, baby, he's going to help you. He's going to solve your problem. It should never be a back and forth thing. Like, it's crazy because y'all be dating these brokies and you got to beg him for two years straight just to get a hundred dollars out of him. And a guy that I went on one date with literally sent me a hundred dollars for gas that quick because I said, I don't have gas in my car and I'm tired because I've been running errands all day. So that's what I'm saying. You ladies need to stop dating broke men and y'all need to start asking these rich men for money or right, just ask men for money in general even if you don't want to deal with a rich man ask a man a affluent man a provider man for money because y'all just dating for free and baby it's people like me just getting money thrown at me left and right like it's it's not that hard just ask or don't even ask just throw a problem out and the man should instantly offer you a solution if he doesn't hang up and call somebody else or just go outside and go to a bar and get a drink comment down below and let me know if you yourself ask men for money and how fast you ask for men for money like some people think a first or a second day is quick but baby i'm not playing no games if you're not gonna do it somebody else will hold on wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. before i kick this off i just did she say she's tired of she said don't play in her face or don't put it in her face <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> because yeah, I, mean, I can put it in your face. <laughs> put it in your face. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> Listen, if you want to, if you want prostitution to be legal, just say yeah. so. Just say it. Yeah. Just, just say, say it. it. If you want it to be legal, just, you know, get you some senators, some congressmen, councilmen, whoever, an alderman, and try to get it on the ballot, okay? It's, it's, it's election <laughs> night. We, you know, you vote for Trump, Harris, prostitution. Let's see if you yeah, can put it on there. Yeah, yeah, for, listen, because at the end of the day, this what is, it is. It's, or it's, it's, it's called BDB. It is, we call it BDB. Do y'all know what BDB is? No, no. What is that, bro? It's called backdoor begging. That's what go. that's called. You're just taking a roundabout way of begging. Oh, I ain't got no gas in my car. That means my broke ass ain't got no money for no goddamn gas. First that's all, what that says That's not us. his responsibility. That's your car. You're oh supposed to God. put the gas in it, pay the car note, insurance, or whatever. Yeah. Why is that that man's responsibility? And why is it that if a man doesn't do that, he's broke? That's the part I don't get. He got his own responsibility. What makes you his think bills. that I want to spend my money on you? It's just it's it's very prostitution like. 
Uh, I'm just like she she said get a provider man what does that mean yeah exactly <laughs> what, what what does that mean because i thought that being a provider or being a good man is taking care of your family or taking care of your woman not providing or taking care of all of these heifer g's that you're out here dating because now granted us men I mean, if we know that we gonna get those skins, yeah, we'll we'll bring off a couple of hours. I'll give you two hundred fifty. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I bring off a couple of hours. <laughs> you know, I mean, if I know I'm gonna get you them, get those skins and shit. Yeah. You know? So this is the problem once again, because I know we said this before. Since when do when you're uh when you're dating, you have to provide for these women? Yeah, you're not supposed to. Exactly. So I don't I don't get it. Like it's I'm just, with CJ on this one. Like this yeah. this, this is definitely prostitution. Yeah. And. And and then and the only and then these are going to be the same women when they get about in their forties. We're all the good men. Mm -hmm. We're all the good men. You ran through them. You right. have right. That's where the good man is at. <laughs> it's, it's so weird to me that like off the rip when I when you meet like she said if, you, if they to give up the money fast it's like the only people that give up money fast are Johns for prostitutes. Mm -hmm. So it's like. If you give if if you expect this man to give up money fast, what do you think he He's expects expect, from you? Right. Is he not supposed to expect anything? Because right. during the dating phase, if I meet a woman and we're dating mm -hmm. and I'm courting her and I'm providing her with you know dinner or this or that, I'm expect I'm not saying I'm expecting sex, but I'm expecting something in return. I expect you to contact me. I shouldn't be calling you all the time if I took you out on dinner. Like I expect a quick hand job under the table. But, oh, okay. <laughs> I retort. <laughs> so it's just like, at the end of the day, you think these guys are just supposed to give you all this. Why? Because you're cute? Yeah. Why? I did just, it just, to me, and we're talking about logic, and we know that there's a thing with women and logic. But, um... <clears throat> Like, it just does not logically make sense like why you would think that some random guy is going to just give you money just when he met you just because you are you when again the odds are in CJ, our can favor I have some money who i got a problem can I have some money my, my money's all tied up in investments <laughs> i'm sorry lowe's can I have some money oh man listen i ain't um, I, got, I got my roof is leaking i ain't get paid yet <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I mean, I got you on um, uh, two weeks from now. So, can I spend a night at your house then? Can I spend a night at your house, CJ? So, uh, uh. the uh, the thing about my my house is the gated community and the ratio of people <laughs> in the square footage that's in my house. It, it would be over the ratio. And, 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 and see, in my HOA, they gonna give me a fine. And, and see, my, my mama, she don't like nobody spend night at my house. Oh my mama don't like nobody spend at my house. Like she said, if I had a problem, I'm supposed to throw a problem out there. I just told y'all I had a problem, I, and y'all ain't y'all ain't giving me no solution. I would try to help, but the, again, the HOA fees that that them penalties is steep. <laughs> so they say, you know, I got three kids, so <sighs> we know we take up a lot of the square footage. We <sighs> add another one. It, I mean, it literally puts us over Look. the square footage by like yeah. 42 square feet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And listen, listen. Let me tell you though. You thought you threw out a problem with me. You know what you're gonna get. Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> oh man, Damn, what you I'm gonna do? You know. Um, you want to call me back at the end of your problem? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm getting straight to the point. Uh, damn, you you can call me back. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm home. <laughs> Matter of fact, I I, I actually got to step out. Um, so uh, I don't know what time I'm gonna be back, uh, but know. I'm gonna call you though. I'm gonna call you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll check on you. You know, tomorrow. Man, <laughs> listen. Yeah, I mean, you hit me. You hit Los with a problem. You got another problem. Listen, Boy. <laughs> we both got a problem. <laughs> All right, man. Let's, oh, let's, let's, let's go to the comments, man. So first comment is from Goddess. Goddess says, I get gifts and money before, after, and during the date. God damn, God. You also your give money. a gift at the end of the night, too. <laughs> yeah. We know. We know how it goes. Them, them girls that begin float out to Dubai, they also begin peed on. So yeah. oh, oh my gosh. We know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you hear that? Mm. T. Yeah. Anything wrong with getting gifts before, during, and after the date? I don't know. I don't I don't um I haven't really been dating. So, what? Yeah. All them Donald Trumps that be out there? <laughs> uh. Mitt Romney. <laughs> <laughs> said, I'm, I'm going to get my life together. 
And no, you know, no, because you're too busy working on the podcast. Right. Like you, don't need, you don't need your life together. <laughs> we don't need no life. Right. You know what I mean? You, you, listen, you stress going to the bathroom, whack one out real quick, whack and come on back. Hours. As a matter of fact, Crazy. I'm waiting for my new one to come because I wore the other one out. Okay, comment <laughs> number two. <laughs> <laughs> comment number two. <laughs> Do we need another YouTube apology? <laughs> it is John after dark. dark, dark. <laughs> Patreon coming soon. <laughs> All right, man, so look, comment number two. So let's go to comment number two is from Notes From Your Girl. Um, Notes From Your Girl says, I got $500 from a guy I just met, so I agree. Can I take this one? Please. Let me sit up a little straight. This one is for the men. Stop doing this. (laughs) Stop. Because the majority of us, we're not doing this just for no random girl. We don't care how cute you are. Nah. The majority of us, we've had a baddie or two or three or ten in our lives. So one bad woman who's ultimately gorgeous we it's, it's not that big of a deal. But I need you guys that have never been in this boat before. Y'all got to stop with this. Because the one thing that happens with humans is once one, once somebody mm-hmm. does something one time, they yeah. now believe that it should be it. done they don't All believe the time. humans really don't believe in anomalies and stuff happens, spe- especially during dating that men, we have to stop doing this. If it's someone that you feel like you're going to be long term with, hey, I feel like if go off your, your, your gut feeling, do, you. do your thing. Yeah. But stop doing this with these randoms, because at the end of the day, this has become an epidemic. Yeah. These women are out of control. They think that this is the norm. It's not because you gave her five hundred dollars. But now your broke ass is sitting in the house and you can't even put peanut butter and jelly on the bread because you only got one slice left. So you put peanut and, on half and then gel on the other half because you can't get a whole peanut butter and jelly. And dare you try to get Nutella no, it seems like with a, your a bit of a, It seems like, and I don't know why, and, and, and this is the funny part, because it seems like desperation a little bit on a men's behalf. It is. Yeah, it and is. I don't know it why. It's, because the, the crazy part about it is, is because the ratio of women to men is already high anyway so y'all already have the but option I, to choose i'll tell you so ex- therefore this is why i think men need to un- to understand their worth because stop at doing, the end of yeah, the day yeah stop putting make the women start working i could tell you why make they the do it. women work i could tell you exactly why men do it a lot of men do it you know why because they can't hold a goddamn conversation they mm-hmm. have nothing exciting about their lives so they have to use the money to reel them in because if you take the money away from it they are a hollow no piece. substance yes they a bag of cotton balls nothing <laughs> behind it and that's what it is i don't have nothing else of substance so i gotta keep yeah. feeding you this money for you to keep for you to uh for, for me to keep your attention that's all it is because real guys don't have to do that whether you got money or not if you're a, a, a guy who can converse you can have conversation mm-hmm. you, you know you got mm-hmm. something going on with your life you got some ambitions goals even ideas even if you didn't get them off the ground but you working on them that's a part of who you are. Yeah, and so that it'll that show. Means, so Most yeah, guys can't do that. I got to wear the, the Balenciagas and the Amiris and bar my homie Challenger so I can just repress this woman. <laughs> right. And now I got to keep the facade. I know. Keep I know, it up. When I was younger, I know I know a guy who used to rent uh, a Dodge Charger. He would rent the same exact Charger on, from, the, from the rental place because the, the license plate. So that any time he pulled up somewhere, you see the license plate, you would think like, oh, all right. This is because it's the same license. So he will, call, he will call yeah. the rental place. I need the charger with ZPX 2415. Is that available? Please make sure it's available. So that he Get can the- make it look like it was his car. I know <laughs> this. Crazy. I've seen this with my own two eyes. So that's what I'm saying. This is just the lengths that guys go through when they have no substance. Stop doing this, fellas. Please. Ain't it? That's ridiculous. Ain't it? It's ridiculous. You know what, man? Because at the end of the day, now you're presenting yourself to be a person that you really are not. Yeah. It's weird. It's and, then, weird. And, and then this is why women get upset because, and why we talk about representatives, is because you presented yourself to be one person and, and then later down the line, I found out that you're somebody else. And you can't be consistent. Oh, I, now you can't be consistent. It's like, well, dang, you used to do this. You do, Yeah, his broke ass was lying. Right. Now now you, now you actually meeting him. Right. Okay. So that no boo that he took you to the first two months, it's a no Nutella. Negative. <laughs> now that's what it is. So you gonna go to no boo, no Nutella in the refrigerator. So like, y'all gotta chill, fellas, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah chill. Hold on, wait a minute, y'all. Hey, T, you want something? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> she's, she's scared. <laughs> she acting scared. No alcoholic beverages for me. 
I bet you when she get that phone call from uh, Douglas Trump tonight. <laughs> oh, Lord. She going to crack this motherfucker over, man. Those, can let me get sip of that right there. I got a date tonight. Yeah, I got I got a date tonight. I got to perform. Oh shit! <laughs> Look, I don't need no sip of nothing to perform. All right, oh, comment Lord. number three. <laughs> um, keep this bad boy rolling. Or it gets um, out of hand. Comment number three Look, from TX Doll. Beyonce got a song tonight. I'm gonna dance. Okay, hey, TX hey, hey. Dolly. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, TX Dolly. To- is it Toy App? I don't know what that is. You know, I, I please change your name. <laughs> um, she says. They don't make them the way they used to. Where are the money men? At home. What? <laughs> Saving our money yeah. up. TX, we want to tell you where the money men at? Ask Biden. <laughs> he got us broke. Mm. I'll tell you where the Goddamn Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> you, all right, everybody. We know who the hell he voted for. <laughs> <laughs> you know where we at? We at the strip club where we know our money's going to last. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. We yeah, know exactly we know. what we're getting. <laughs> them wings is fire. And so is the masses that's on, on that pole. Then we know exactly what we get. We getting our money worth. Yep. <laughs> what is that, T? I said, goodness gracious. Oh man, this ain't not T. Lose. You ever been to a strip club? Strip club? Yes, I have. Oh, for real? You went to a male or female strip club? Male. Got it. <laughs> the Mandingo. Yeah. You ever go to I, I, I've, I've, I've had a party for a, a girlfriend of mine when I uh, was throwing her bachelorette party. Work. I did that for her once, and then another time was just a couple girls of us, you know, just hung out. Oh, get out of here. Not quite my twist. Though. Stop playing. Nah. And I think they could tell I was. I, I wasn't, like, into it because they just kept coming over to me. And I'm like, what the <laughs> hell? She was like, look, they going to keep coming over to you because you're sitting there looking like you scared. I'm like, I'm not scared. I'm like, why he so got you that? Wasn't, you wasn't grabbing none of the elephant nah. trunks? Yes. First what? of all, it almost looked like an elephant. Oh, truck okay. <laughs> uh, video number, whatever. Uh, uh, this is. That was it. That was not TMZ. TMI. TMI. That was it. I, 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 I was trying to let you get oh, the story. Of, my drink. Y'all, y'all know how I was, my mind is. Y'all I was should try, know me by now. Y'all know how to, my mouth is. I was trying to let you get your story off. I'm like, is she? Once you get too close to the detail, I gotta stop. This. I don't want no parts of it. <laughs> Editor, we cut right there. No, no, because I ain't even say nothing. I don't CJ. give a damn. I don't want to talk about no trunks, tree trunks, elephant trunks, no trunks. No, no, no swimming yeah, trunks, no trunks. CJ, CJ blocking tonight because yeah, every not, time nah, I nah. say something, he's like, oh. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. What are you like, oh, next video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cool. Uh-uh. That one was way too far. The other ones, I'm okay with. That was not in my wheelhouse. No, I don't even want to visualize what, what? You, what you was about to say. No, thank but you. But y'all talk about this crap all the time Cut. about women. Listen, the one thing about See, me. See, this is why I don't like this, this listen, ratio. The one thing here. about me y'all is. Y'all got me this, this one woman. Listen. And two of y'all. Y'all talk about women. Listen, the one y'all thing. talk about women all the time. And then the minute I say something. Oh, no. Listen. Uh-uh. Listen. <laughs> You at, at any I'm, the one thing about me is I am very unbiased. Lose, you okay? So the minute that I start going, <laughs> you can cut it off. Lose, but I had to stop you there. I yeah. don't do with these two, yo. I don't know what you was about to say, but I want no parts of that. Because I don't know how you think. I, I, don't, I don't know about Lose. So I'm gonna let him speak for himself. But I don't know how you think I was gonna reply to that. Yeah, because I just a tree trunk. <laughs> I would have went to the bathroom with that one. <laughs> y'all, y'all can finish this one without me. I'm cool. <laughs>